I want to start this one off with a quick PSA because I've been missing, I don't want to say quite a lot of damage, but I've, I've been missing some damage here and that damage would be coming from the familiar system because, and I've already unequipped one of the badges here, I think I had the starter badge here or whatever, I am missing one critical badge in my collection here that significantly boosts my damage. Maybe you're already aware of that, maybe you're not, and this is gonna help you out. So, in the list, there's this Depths badge, which gives 1% attack. And of course, you know, you can't play playing a mage. <laughs> Whoops. So, anyways, yeah, this badge is just free attack, right? And I just missed this, and it's not like this badge is impossible to get. I already got the Lich. And in the past couple of days, I just farmed the other cards. The most difficult one would be this Nyalmo or Nyalmo card, but it does drop. So here it is. I'm just gonna eat one and one of the remaining ones here. Pop, 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 pop. And that should basically unlock exactly here. It is the depths badge. 1% additional attack and the magic attack does not stack yeah exactly uh, at least you know the system actually tells you when whenever something doesn't work but you know the magic attack not stacking is not something that i'm really concerned with where's the magic attack coming from oh from the void badge which <laughs> i can just also unequip oh no there might be oh god Another 1% also 2 attack improvement here. The 2 attack don't stack, but the 1% also does stack. Okay, I wasn't even aware of this. Okay, very nice. So we got 1% additional attack and 1% also from that. Yeah, basically for free. It took me a couple of hours actually to farm the Nyalmo card because this is a field boss that spawns every 2 hours. But as you've seen, it does drop the card. So that does it for the PSA section. My hard Saren squad disbanded, so I gotta do normal Saren solo. It should be very much possible, but I still, you know, haven't ever done it. So this is gonna be my achievement run to get the stamp, which... Where are the stamps? Ah, in the guide. Here we go. Boss, scroll up a little bit. And normal Saren. There we go. And then next week, we're gonna take on the Black Mage. Okay, I'm very nervous actually. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Let's see how it goes. The first burst is the most important one. Well, maybe not actually. Okay, so far so good. But there wasn't really much that I could be doing wrong up until this point. Okay, I did not enter iframe. I should enter iframe. I will greet. No. Okay. Oh wow, I'm really one bursting. Ugh. Okay, this was very bad execution wise, the second half of the burst, but I need to, you know, at least wait for my. Oh my god. For oh, my burst to be back up anyway, so it's completely fine actually. Okay, I gauged. I gauged in a bad spot. The second banana will kill me. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even lose anything. That's funny. Okay, still 20 seconds. I don't want to trigger it too early. Ducking the banana is also not recommended, but it did work out, so... All good. Okay, 0 0.2. One more attack and it's gonna phase. Ah, I'm, st I'm still gonna duck the banana again. I know it's wrong, but... Holy! What an attack. Okay. I don't know. The gauge is way too filled in order to be happy, but 
It's whatever. I can probably finish this fight before we get to the second day. That was terrible. Oh, I took so much gauge, I don't even know from what to be honest. I did not pay attention. Should I gauge so I don't lose a life? Maybe, you know, I'm gauging right into the test. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I heard somebody say once you should never gauge on purpose, and I guess. Ah, oh my god, I lost my, my self door. You should never gauge on purpose, and I, I think that is the a statement that I wanna subscribe to. Duck. Ah, I see. That's where the gauge was coming from, I think, earlier also. Okay, test. Easy test. Okay. Man, Siren in this phase is so deadly. Getting hit by the pillars is... Ugh. Something. But I know that I should burst here. So I'm gonna do it. Okay. I took massive damage right there. That's not good. I think I got hit by a pillar. And in this phase, I will be bursting in my iframe. Because pillars can still spawn, stuff can spawn, and I'm not really willing to engage with any of that, to be honest. Duck. Duck. Okay, one. Two. Duck. Okay. I also managed to escape the pillar there quite well, using my backstab. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, ah yikes. Yeah. Yikes. Yikes. Oh. That was horrible. Uh, I'm so close to test site. So I'm really nervous. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. There we go, test. I need two mini bursts here. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Unfortunately, I lost my great dark servant there. For the big star of rapid throw, so... Uh, not really 100% worth it. Oh man, and I thought I could finish this fight in one day. That's definitely not gonna happen. Oh man, this face was quite... Quite something. Okay, let me get out of here. Oh yeah, yeah. Ah, fuck. Come 
one. And okay, it wasn't the word. Oh, okay, no, I get. I I completely face tanked way too many mechanics there because I did not think of the gauge. I was like, okay, you can do damage to me and I will just backstep if you reverse me and it's fine. It's fine. You can slow me down. I can still navigate this situation, but oh, no, 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 no. That's not how this fight works. So, okay. I'm always gonna wait out the bi timer here and I'm honestly... Saren gets a shield here, and I don't think I should use my burst now. Okay, now actually think about what you're doing and try to avoid the attacks. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Good stuff. Actually, good stuff. Oh wow. Okay, to go again. I think I'm out of Great Dead Dark Servant Teleport, so I have to do it like this. Oh no, I got clipped in the air. Okay. Still quite a ways to go until phase or test. Okay, let's try to up jump and get all over this. Good. Could it be the case that there are more... Ideas in Heart Center? Oh no 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 no! Yeah, I saw this happening, but I still managed. Okay, let's buff up. Oh god, I got <laughs> immediately punished. Oh no, I forgot AB Link. Oh no. Can I get out of this? Nope, I can't. Should I respawn? No, I don't think so. I have 30 more seconds of spears, okay. But to be honest, that's whatever. I'd rather have, you know, the knight be as long as possible and not gauge out because clearly I'm not at the stage where I'm comfortably dodging the boss mechanics, yeah. So, a lot of practice still needs to go into this fight. I think somebody who's really familiar with this boss and has godly hands can clear it. Uh, like, I mean, hard, Saren, with my gear. But, you know, I can't. Because I still have a lot to learn. But I'm sure that we'll get there. Potentially with better gear, of course. Uh, okay, I just needed this blink break here in order to check the gauge and, you know, kind of, I don't know, regroup? Yeah, regroup is the right word. Oh god. Kind of... Oh! No, okay. I was about to say, I was kind of proud how I handled that situation, but I couldn't even say it without making a major mistake. <laughs> okay, I'm taking it like super, super slow. Okay, but it feels good. It feels good like this. Oops. One. Two. Ugh. Let's do it like this. Okay, I need to buff up again, but I don't have my Great Dark Servant up quite yet, so I will wait for that. Okay, it's time. This should uh, finish the fight, I'm pretty sure. <gasps> I forgot to use... 
Okay, okay, I forgot to use my Black Mage iframe, which can be deadly here, but fortunately, you know, first of all, this was normal, right? So the pillars don't do as much damage, but also I think I wouldn't have died in hard. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> oh, no, I... Oh, my God. Okay, I just thought of something. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm trolling myself here. Yeah? But it's fine, it's fine. Okay. I'm not sure why I still, you know, buffed up to 409 drop rate. Because this boss doesn't even drop anything, I'm pretty sure, that I'm interested in. Ooh, double achievement. I like that. I think that was for clearing Saren, normal Saren, and soloing it at once. If. Wait, where are the achievements? There we go. Go to there. Defeat normal chosen Saren once, okay? Defeat normal chosen Saren by yourself. Perfect. Actually, really satisfying. At the same time, not satisfying because, you know, the pressure to do hard Saren is obviously there. But, yeah, that's fine. What I was referring to, the thing that I forgot, was the thing that you will see right here. Since I maxed out, maxed out, <laughs> since I have 25 levels in Bite, I can focus on the other skills now. And I started off with putting points into Silence and now Hexa Quintuple Star. And I think, you know, whenever I get 300 fragments, which, you know, I'm at 360 right now, I will level up one skill from level 1 to level 9 and you know we do that for spears, great dark servant, rapid throw and then I take a look in what I'm actually supposed to to be <laughs> leveling but for now I don't think it makes a huge difference because honestly these upgrades are still so cheap I still think the greatest damage boost for me is gonna be this skill so add a max Rank 9, there we go, takes 288 fragments and 15 soul orders. And the usual, we are max at 20. So, level 9, Red Dark Servant. If I would have done this before the fight, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty, 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 pretty much sure that the one mini burst that I did would have done more damage because the Red Dark Servant gets more duration with more points that I put into it so it's not like this was the difference maker I know but <laughs> anyways uh, yeah that was my normal Saren solo yay okay I just got done doing my dailies and parts of my dailies include daily bosses for souls because you know we are still working on getting a proper soul on the Genesis guards here and then I I'm about to log out, hit the world select, and I see this gold richly save jackpot reward. And I'm like, did I win this or am I being baited? I <laughs> I don't know if I'm being baited right here, but I guess, you know, we should check it out together. So let's go to Hannes's. And wait, do I need to go to Hannes's? I, I have no idea actually. Um... Um, uh, <gasps> I want to claim the jackpot safe reward. Oh my god, let me take a screenshot. <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> yes, I want to claim the, the jackpot. I want to claim the round 4 reward. <gasps> I got this damage skin. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, nice! Holy! Of course, yes, please! Oh my god, I, I just got this! This might fit Nightwalkers! Okay, I just... <laughs> I just had to take a break, to be honest. I couldn't believe that I actually won the jackpot. So, it's time to try out this damage skin. Yes, I would like to use it. And the first thing that we're gonna do is store it 
so that we don't lose this once in a lifetime damage skin. And now let's check it out. Aye, aye, aye. Come on. Does it look good? It, it fits. I think it fits. It's, it's good. People say this is the best damage skin in the game. I'm not 100% sure, but it does... It does kind of fit. Out of all the damage skins that there are, that are, you know, unit damage skins, nothing's really fitting the Nightwalker wipe and like purple and yeah yeah this 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 kind of does it yeah finally a damage skin that I can use I'm not 100% sure if I really I'm, I'm sorry to say this but I'm not 100% sure if I really want to use it because the star at the beginning is it's kind of annoying isn't it I would just prefer to just have the number Yeah, I'm gonna see. <laughs> I'm gonna see how it is. Okay, I know that I said that I'm just gonna level the six job skills evenly or, you know, however I feel like. But I found a sheet that makes going with the optimal route really, really easy. And that's exactly why I will just be maxing the six job progression system in the proper order from now on at least that's the plan so right now i have nine points into into the other skills and 25 into bite and from here on out i'm just gonna you know take a look at what's what i'm actually supposed to level can i cast yeah okay i can keep casting so this gets a point. Okay, I can check it in my list. Boop. And then... I mean, it's so awesome that I can just keep grinding on this side. Hey, hey. This will probably take me a little while to do. And yeah, I don't have a ton of fragments anyway. So, but you know, I'll, I'll do it properly from here on out. So if, if you were a stickler for making or playing optimally I'm playing optimally a little bit now <laughs> and yeah that, that's my update all right so it's sunny Sunday and today is a max soul day as well as inner ability reset day I hope you all only spend what you had to spend in terms of honor today because we are gonna get an ability preset soon and if you're asking me what am I saving for in my case I think I would like to turn the first inability into a farming inability where I potentially re-roll the first and third line so I'm gonna be re-rolling off the boss damage and mezzo and try to roll for mezzo on the first line and normal damage on the third line or what i could do is i could keep the mezzo and try to roll for 20 percent item drop rate on the first line which you know it's also something that could make sense you know depending on how drop rate really works if something past 400 drop rate works or not right so i think in recent news it came out that in kms the max drop rate percentage is basically 400 and nothing changes afterwards so us having the inability here at 15 makes it so with all the buffs that we have you know 100 percent uptime on i would say we can reach 409 percent so we are basically capped at 400 maybe maybe if it works like that so I could roll off the the mezzo and put it in the first line to get a bit, little bit more mezzos while farming right but yeah it's not confirmed uh, for us so I don't know what to do exactly and I will have to ask around a lot of people you know get figure out what the common consensus is in regards to this and and take it from there yeah yeah second inability is gonna be like boss damage abnormal monster damage and attack I guess maybe crit rate but I don't think so 
Because, you know, I, I am specking into crit rate right here, but only with two points. <laughs> uh, and, ah, no, in my bossing setup, I actually spent seven points. So it's, it's not nothing, right? It's not nothing, but I don't know. You know, and in the future, it's planned to get the Boma set to 50, the Night Lord to 250, right? That's another two slash four percent, depending on how we allocate the, the blocks on the Legion board, right? So, mmm. Going for a crit rate this late into, you know, my Legion progression might also not be the proper play. Anyways, besides the inner ability event, which you know, I already addressed, now I don't do anything today in, in terms uh, of that or in regards to that. Because, yeah, I'm waiting for the presets to be out and then I'm waiting for an event because I have the luxurious... Wait, no, I, you know, I, I'm in a good spot. That's what I meant to say, and I don't need to force the issue here. So, okay. Besides that, it is Max Soul event, so I'm gonna go through all these souls that are potentially gonna be Max Souls, open them, and hope for as many Max Souls as possible because the weapon needs to be changed. Twenty-four luck is not it. So. Let's check it out. <laughs> okay. Wow, my inventory is a mess now. Okay. I didn't get a single Maxol. I'm pretty sure. I had these two starting out. And yeah, I got nothing on the main. Even though, you know, since I got this horrendous flame on my weapon. <sighs> I did farm Magnus and Vellum on the daily to get extra soul shards and you know you can tell by me having opened more of those but and Queen also Queen Queen is also an S tier soul I didn't even know that and last time I spoke about it somebody in the comments mentioned it so I'm very thankful for it because otherwise I wouldn't have farmed Queen but as you can see I got nothing man Holy moly, man, this this is really rough. Wow. I will try to add the the souls to the soul book from here on out. And <sighs> for the first time ever, I will go through the mules in order to see if the mules, the bossing mules, can pull an S tier soul. But as you know, I haven't really been too active on them, so... Yeah, it's not very likely that we're gonna make an improvement here today. Aye, aye, aye. That, oh, wait, is this? No. <laughs> wait, I was like, is this a Max Soul? <laughs> I don't know why I even thought about it. Aye, aye. Y you can tell, you know, because the Max Souls wouldn't have a timer on it, so. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll check on the mules and. Oh, man, I'm kind of down. I'm, I'm a little bit down because of this. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, so not only <laughs> did I get a little bit lucky on my bossy mule, so we can potentially find an upgrade today. But besides that, I also found... Where are they? These two Max Souls, <laughs> which were sitting in my storage all this time. Oh no. I know, I know. But we got three from the bossy mules, two from the storage. <laughs> so five attempts. Add some juicy attack. If I land on boss damage, I will also 100% keep it. So, I'm not sure if I need to unequip the weapon here, but I'm just gonna do it. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, here we go. Which one would I like to use first? I guess the Cygnus will have the best look to them. Yes, please. ID is really not... <sighs> I mean, ID does benefit me, right? It's better than magic attack, or I think all set can also roll here. But I'm... S I have so much ID all of myself, you know. 7% boss damage. Okay. I'm gonna keep this until I have many more max holds than this. Because 7% is such a significant upgrade. Of course 3% attack would be better. But for now, this is something that I can definitely roll with. It's, yeah, 
I'm, I can be satisfied with this. <laughs> Let's put it like that. All right, so the last thing for this video is going to be me going over a practice run of Hard Saren with a Demon Slayer. And why that is significant, I will get into in a short moment. But we started the episode off with me soloing normal Saren. And as you were able to tell, it was a quite easy run, right? Which is why I potentially should be able to even solo Hard Saren. But hear me out. Hard Saren is such a difficult fight. I think since... Honestly, since my Lucid solo, <laughs> which... You know, it's usually not the boss that people bring up when they talk about a hard boss to solo, but I, I remember that Lucid, when I soloed, was really, really, really difficult for me because you have to have so much uptime on your attacks that the RNG that you're just confronted with when facing Lucid can absolutely ruin your day. And... Yeah, like I would always say, Lucid is probably the boss that I would never really want to go over and min clear ever, ever again. And honestly, Saren seems similar to me. Similar to Lucid in a way that you have to, have to, have to keep up the damage at all times. Otherwise, you're not really going anywhere, especially in phase 2. Phase 1 can be a complete RNG fest and you will die, but nonetheless you will always, you know, have the situation in bosses where, you know, certain pattern combinations are thrown at you and you'll have to deal with them. And I think in many situations, Saren can be kind of fair, but Sometimes it's just unfair what, what Saren throws at you. And yeah, by this time, if you paid very close attention, you could see that the issue of me as a Nightwalker partying together with a Demon Slayer is that we don't burst on the same timer. Basically meaning that the Demon Slayer has his burst every two minutes, while I have my burst every... Three minutes, which leads to, yeah, us not really knowing what to do in detail here. And we're still gonna try in the next episode to, to clear, but honestly, this is this is quite something. <laughs> Having to like burst with you know one three minute, one two minute class is is quite something. I think it's fun, and honestly, I learned. I learned so much by just attempting this duo right here. It's actually unbelievable how much I learned. And this is the thing that I want to be exposed to. Being able to learn the boss. Because in my bossing group prior to this, we just destroyed Saren on the weekly and that was it, right? We didn't even make it to phase or day day two in phase two ever i think i'm pretty sure we we always cleared before then no wait did we i don't quite remember but honestly it was not ever really a struggle and having to perform like you know we had to right here it's it's something different when you when you really have to focus put your mind to it in order to actually get somewhere okay so besides this being just a practice run I can also already tell you we did not clear on this attempt I think much of the reason was that you know when Saren is in the phase where you know she gets the or he gets the massive overshield we did not focus on damaging Saren which led to a massive heal like it's it's actually crazy when you don't damage Saren during that phase how much HP is just healed back and you know it's it also it's also kind of 
frustrating and you know in the moment you're like oh my god i should have damaged the seren more and yeah i don't know maybe it's just me to be honest but yeah like i said this isn't a clear but we came super 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 close which i'm 100 percent proud of like for me this was in the first time we we went in a two-man as a two-man group and we did well and yeah like i said here's me hoping that uh we will get the clear next week so anyways i hope you are around for that as well the episode's gonna be out next thursday the only thing that i would like to ask you if you managed to get this far do you mind there not being a timestamp in the bottom left of the video anymore for me i find it annoying <laughs> i like the timestamp and i think i will re-add the timestamp but i also want to know like if if you think this adds value to the episode you know basically seeing at which point i record the clips you know how is my week going you know something like that and or you know if if you ignored that timestamp so far completely and it had literally zero impact for you and these episodes yeah that's that's what i want to hear uh <laughs> yeah like i said this is gonna be it and thank you so much for watching i'll see you next week take care everybody and bye-bye.